Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, the number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we are going to be looking at an introduction to Fibonacci. Leonardo Bonazzi, aka Fibonacci, was a mathematician born around 1170 and became known for developing the Fibonacci sequence, where each number is the sum of the two preceding ones, starting from 0 and 1. From this theory, the ancient Greeks founded the Golden Ratio, aka Golden Section, Golden Mean and Divine Proportion, where many things in the universe and in nature can be measured by such Golden Ratio. In Forex, the most commonly used Fibonacci ratios are 38.2%, 50%, and 61.8%. Sometimes 23.6% and 76.4% are used, but these ratios are better known as retracement levels and are used in technical analysis to help traders establish support and resistance levels and areas where a trade might turn in direction. Traders simply place their Fibonacci retracement tool on their chart and set position 1, the lowest point in a move, and then drag the tool to position 2, the highest point of a move. The tool will automatically open retracement levels on the chart, showing dividing lines with individual ratios that we previously mentioned. The idea is the swing high on the trader's chart will be followed by a pullback or retracement, and then the trader must decide at which level, if any, the price action will stall and then continue its upward move. For example, if the pullback falls to the 23.6% and then continues higher above its initial high point, this would be considered a strong bullish move. A slightly weaker bullish move would be indicated by a pullback to the 38.2% retracement line. Therefore, the shorter the pullback, the more likelihood of a stronger push higher and continuation of the trend. This also interlinks with our episode on Elliott Wave Theory. This setup is used for a bullish move on a forex pair. If the trader wishes to look at a bearish move, he or she can simply place position 1 at the highest point of the move and then drag it to position 2, the lowest, in which case the opposite applies to the original setup. Let's look at an example. This is a 5 minute chart of the EURUSD. We have brought our Fibonacci tool on the screen to the lowest point of the move as denoted by the X and then dragged it to the highest point of the move as denoted by the second X. The tool has opened 6 vertical levels on the screen as seen here. These show in percentage terms the level of the pullback from the lowest point to the highest point. What is evident by the green candlesticks is that there was a strong push high in the early move and then price action entered sideways before pulling back to the 23.6 line and then after a move higher the price action pulled back to the 23.6 line and then moved lower stopping briefly at the 38.2% level before finding support at the 50% retracement level before moving higher again. Had a trader bought the pair at the 50% retracement level where price action clearly stalled they would have seen an 18 pip movement to the upside. If this was to be used on every trade and constantly yielded the same results a couple of times a day, it would prove to be an immensely powerful trading tool. However, we strongly advise not to solely trade with a Fibonacci tool for the following reasons. The initial spike higher on the EURUSD pair in example A was the result of an unexpected news flash release where the European leaders had agreed an initial draft accepting verbiage relating to the breakthrough in Brexit negotiations and a possible way forward. These types of news releases are inclined to be put down to rumour and conjecture and can often cause spikes and rapid reversals in price action. Therefore, while Fibonacci is a very useful way of reading prediction moves, we will always advocate that they are used in tandem with other tools, such as up-to-the-minute news releases, stochastics, indicators, Bollinger Bands and focus on key exchange rate levels, especially round numbers. Also, always be aware of economic news release schedules which can adversely affect the price action. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover in future, or if you would like to discuss the topics we have covered. Have a great day.